and it has to be to the voters, yes or no. And it's been going on too long with no action, so the people are taking the action. Some residents in the village of Painted Post have started a petition to put the dissolution of the village up for a public vote. Though some of the residents say they're sick of paying high taxes and believe they should have a say in their village possibly consolidating with the town of Irwin. Good evening, I'm Renata Steele. Scott is off tonight. Thanks for choosing Twin Tears tonight in high definition. Well, it's been months since a painted post committee determined that after years of financial troubles, it was in the village's best interest to dissolve and consolidate with the town of Irwin. Though residents are tired of waiting around and starting to take action themselves, with a petition for a right to vote on the issue. WEMY TV's Melissa Pirelli was in Painted Post today. She joins us live in the studio. Now, Melissa, the majority of the neighbors you talked with are supporting this petition. Renata, I spoke to dozens of village neighbors today, and you're right, they all felt the dissolution is needed, but they believe that they should absolutely have the right to vote on the issue. The petition is a great idea. Uh, we were promised approximately two years ago that uh, to consolidate with Irwin would come to the voters, and it has to be to the voters. Dick Myers is just one of many Painted Post residents glad to see action finally being taken on the village's dissolution issue. A petition started two days ago calling for a public vote on the issue, and there's already 110 signatures, just eight shy of the 10 percent of registered voters needed in order to officially submit it to the board. The village board has decided at this point in their position paper just to try to improve on the financial situation themselves without putting it to a vote, and we just want to know that they're acting in the residents' best interest. Residents say the large tax burden weighs heavily on them, and they should have the right to vote on a dissolution that could improve their lives. The way I paid my taxes, uh, I had to go take a loan out. That is horrible. That's horrible this time uh, for to put that burden on elderly people. I've had my house here for about four years now, and um, it's going to affect not only our taxes, but our schooling. I think it should be a public vote. I think we all should have a say in what concerns us, not just it happen and then, you know, we suffer the consequences later. I reached out to Village Mayor Roz Crozier, but he declined to comment on the matter, and Town of Irwin officials were unavailable. To see the study done on the potential tax savings, visit WENY.com and click on this story. Live in the studio, Melissa Pirelli, WENY-TV News.